Hey everybody, welcome to our show this week and thanks for joining us. You know what, this week we're up here in Ashland with our good friend Tommy Hicks, Beyond the Catch. Hey Tommy, you know what, last year was the first time that I actually ever got to go out and do some bobbing and for everybody at home, why don't you tell them what bobbing actually is, but I can just tell you guys, I am hooked on bobbing. <laughs> It's a rush. Well, yep. We're going to go out in Impossible Islands. We're going to head out about 15, 20 miles. Fish 200 feet of water. We're going to use not a fishing pole, but a hoop. It's a wooden hoop, wooden or plastic. We use wooden ones. We got coated wire on there, 300 feet. Is that a coated wire? Yep, okay. coated wire. We got a high end swivel and a 20 pound mono leader with a big cut bait. And you're just basically pumping a, that it's off a, bottom. It's a swim bait. You're so swimming. It's on a replicating herring or a big smelt. And there's a lot of current out there. I know that last year, a on couple spots we yep. fished, we, we couldn't even fish because current, you, you stopped there, the current was too that's strong. that's where that wire helps. You know, it's not only helping getting that hook in the big fish because they got the real hard mouth. Right. But it's to get the weighted line in that current and have a straighter line so the more you feel. And we're actually going out there to try to target big lake trout. We're going for something. Giants. Pounds. 20 how big? Plus, 20, 20 plus, yeah. Let's see how it goes this week up here in Bayfield, fishing for giant lake trout. Let's get them! Go, go, go! Nice. That's a long ways down. <laughs> Your first trout bobbing. Yeah. Okay, getting close. We want to throw the fish that way. Okay. Hey, Larry. Yes. Yeah. Wait a moment. Nice knees. Good job. Nice job. Nice job. Excellent, Lake Trout. Excellent. <laughs> Look how fat that fish is. So that, we were just talking about it. Right, that's a fat. Yep, that's, that's a fat or a cisco trout. You see the great big belly? In the big eyes? Short nose, big eyeballs. I got a hook in my finger. There we go. Wow, Fires. that's cool. Great way to start off the morning. Awesome job. And I can sense the excitement. I like that. Right, that is. She's been so excited since I put this bait down. We thought she was cold. She was just that excited to get down there. A little drink. Look at that. Awesome job. Tommy, you look like Santa Claus. She's a little chilly today. Hard to smile. The beard's froze up. Wow, this is definitely a little bigger fish. Look at this. Watch yourself, watch yourself, girl. Watch yourself. That is a nice fish. Okay, fight them all. Fight them all. Nice and easy. Oh, 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 oh. Nice job. Oh, nice job. <laughs> Look at that. That is absolutely an absolutely awesome fish. Man. Awesome you job. Doing differently? I haven't even had a bite yet. <laughs> I don't know. I was just talking and then I was like, I thought I was on the bottom. Oh, so I'm going to start talking to myself then. Right? <laughs> awesome Whoa. work. You got the little twitch they want, that's for sure. Doing something right. Yeah, you are. Yay. Nice job. Why is Warrior Boats the official boat of Larry Smith Outdoors? When you spend your life on the water, you need a boat that is dependable, reliable, and comfortable. Warrior Boats are the most diverse multi-species fishing platform in the industry. Whether you're a hardcore tournament angler or looking to enjoy weekends relaxing on the water with your family, Warrior Boats have a boat to fit your needs. Warrior Boats create the ultimate fishing experience. To join the Warrior Boats family, go to warriorboatsinc.com to find a dealer near you. Hey, what was I telling you guys? This is an absolutely incredible show. You know, our timing was just perfect. But the big thing you need to remember, this is probably one of the most dangerous bodies in the world when it comes to ice fishing. And remember something about Lake Superior, it never gives up its dead.
tell you what, Tommy, I just slowed it down like you said. And as uh, soon as I slowed it down, you said Rachel was tight to the bottom. I went a little tighter to the bottom and definitely slowed it down. And boy, he just absolutely slammed that thing. Wow. It definitely has got some good weight to it. Oh, this thing's got some weight to it. I'm just going to spread it out more in case he makes a big run. There you go. Oh. Definitely got some weight to it. This is where Tommy could get a wet arm, and I'd like one piece of dry clothing for right back. <laughs> No, that's a big fish. It's, it's a big it's fish. Easy, easy. It's a big fish, Tommy. This is a giant. Tommy. 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 Oh, come on, Tommy. Come on, Tommy. Oh, you're getting a wet arm, Tommy. Easy. He's only on a stinger. Don't horse him. Okay. 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 Oh. oh. Oh, let's get some pictures of this. It's let's, pretty cold out, so we gotta get some quick pics and right, get a or, release. Yeah, I'm glad and you're I'm frozen. It. I'm frozen. <laughs> awesome fish. Awesome fish. Look at this. Boy, I barely had him, Tommy. <laughs> wow. You know how bad I would have felt if he go off at the hole. <laughs> Thank goodness for that stinger hook, though, I'll tell you that. No, you're saying this fish is how old, approximately? This fish? 40. 40. Let's let it go. I mean, look at a 10 inch hole. That's a big wow. fish. Wow. It's a big that fish. Is... <laughs> yes, oh. I love it. The best part, right there. You know the best part is? It's a great day to be alive. That's <laughs> the best part right there. <laughs> Woo! Nice job, Tommy. <laughs> That's why you get up in the morning. That's why you get up in the morning. That's why you I freeze. Love it. You know, it's all about creating more memories. So that that day comes when you're sitting in that rocking chair you can think back of all these great times big head shakes yep hooked up again Kurt. yep nice i put fresh bait in this hole and you get a fish on almost instantly they get keep in this hole here yeah yeah this is a good one Tommy, Tommy, got a, he's got a dandy on. Big one on? Yep. That's a good one, yep. Good. Big head shakes going in Now, why, Tommy, one thing I want to ask you. Yeah. He's the second person to fish this hole here. You know what? What is the deal? I mean, hot hole. Just a hot hole. I mean, just like a. Every, every day, this, like if I was to come fish this again tomorrow, which we might. Right. This will switch. It won't necessarily be here. You think during the course of the day this will shift off too? Good. Yep. Because the last time Ooh, we did this, I noticed that with you. I like when that wire flies through their hands. No, right. You can just walk to your right. Oh, right. Yep, easy. Easy. You see him yet, Tommy? Nope, nope, nope. Oh, oh, look at the tension on that line. Easy. Oh, 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 there it is. It's a, it's a nice fish. Right there, right here. Oh, 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 oh. Woo! Oh, look at that. Get in here. That is an absolutely look at awesome, that awesome fish. Look at that that thing. Look at that. Now, some lamprey marks on the There's bottom a couple there, of them huh, on here, yeah. Amazing. What an amazing fishery. Look at that. And they've come out here and to hand line these fish. Hungry. With Tommy there's nothing like that. <laughs> Some of Beyond the, best guys, the catch! Best guys on the planet right here. You got it. Awesome. We just get to take along. I don't even, I'm speechless. The day is just going, Wow, going that's in. unusual for <laughs> you. It's crazy. Gotta get crazy. Keith, gotta get Keith in this crazy, hole here. Crazy. That is absolutely oh. giant. Let's get the hook yep. out of this fish. Give her a little drink. Yup. Hey, it's back to my favorite time of day. It's the Leroy lunch break. 
and I've got the green egg all fired up here. You know what? We brought this thing out in the back of a snowmobile for about 20, 22 miles. Got her all heated up now. And uh, you know, when you're trying to cook out in conditions like this, this green egg is probably one of the only grills that'll actually hold the temperature down in these kind of conditions. The old vortex, never leave home without, that's why. Ooh, we got a pile of them out here. Open up one more. Here, I'm gonna save this for the leader. What else we have here? We have, this is all venison stuff then. Dig in. You don't have to wait for me. Thanks, Larry. Welcome. Hey, Thanks, Leroy. Senior. Thanks, Thanks yeah. Larry. Thanks, what do we got here, Larry? We've got, uh, this is all basically, we got venison, jalapeno cheddar brats, and we have got also regular venison. Lost a tank over Ryan. Okay. Ryan. Fish. One for our grill. We like to cook one of them up okay. once in a while. Oh, that's a good one. It's not happy. Woo. Nice wow. job. Nice Tommy, job. This is the most insane <laughs> lake trout fishing I have ever seen in my whole life. Gone. Wow. Nice job, Kenny. Nice. You yeah. know, he's Tommy, had some big I ones on today too. Is this couple slipped the hook? Nice. Right. He's got to end that streak of lost fish, bud. It's been a tough battle. Here. There you go. Nice. nice fish, right? All right. My biggest of the day. Yeah, man. This is beautiful. Good job. Big fish. Yeah, man. Unbelievable. Just like musky fishing. Them days when they go. Unbelievable, dude. You haven't even eaten much. Easy, easy, easy. Oh, yeah. Nice fish. Ooh. There you go, buddy. Nice. Nice, nice job. Oh, came up. oh, he's still mad. Still mad. Look at that. Oh, we can't keep I, up. I haven't fished for more than 15, 20 minutes <laughs> myself. Does it feel like a decent fish? I think so. Nice and easy. Really good. You've been pretty quiet out here. Oh! Oh! Yeah. oh, 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 oh. Look at that, that buddy! Yeah! yeah. Awesome. awesome! Wow! Awesome job, Tommy. This is like incredible fishing. I mean, I mean, this is world class fishing. This is as finest. good as Bobbin gets. We're we're seeing a, a banner day today. Banner. Yeah, this is awesome. So Lots if, of numbers, big fish. Yeah, if, if if people want to actually come out and do this with you, which would be crazy. If you love to catch lake trout and and you want a thrill of a lifetime and to experience all the great scenery that we experienced yeah. on the way you know, out. On here. the way out, we said about 15 miles. We ended up coming about 22. Oh, the ice was yeah, I was gonna say it so seemed like a lot more than 15. We're out miles. a long ways. My little girl will catch this one in a few years. Larry's hooked up! Come on, come on. Please. T Tommy, I got a small one. Hey, we'll take them too. Right, they're all fun. Well, oh, and that fish bumped it like a perch, like 10 times. Really? Yeah. He's trying to be a big one. Larry and I are both fighting off a little flu bug today or something. Right. Well, running, well, I'm finding out, does not help. No, well, no. it's a great way to fight it off by I, all this cold air. No. This thing is like tiny, Tommy. Huh? It's gotta be like a minnow. Well, you go from catching 20 pounder. Right. Oh. 
nothing wrong with that. Oh, that's a nice fish. I actually he's bigger than I thought he was. This is the one that we give over to Shotgun. He throws them in the frying pan for you. <laughs> if I give that to Shotgun, I'll never see that thing again never in my life. It. If he knows Lake Superior Lake Trout, Tommy, it'll never happen. No, I got something a little bit different on. We're trying. Well, we had a little. They were a little finicky yesterday, yep. and they wanted a slow jig. So we're just trying some straight jig heads, hair jigs today. But the beetles seem to be catching a little bigger fish. Well, could be the spot too, because there's more beetles in, right? True. Could be the spot. We'll give it a little bit. Well, that one's actually going to go into the frying pan. He is going to get kept. He got a little nicked on the gill. That's one nice thing we always, you know, release. Especially if you're getting close to the guy's two fish, you know, release fish that are hooked good because you never know when you're going to get that stinger hook in the right. gill and the last thing you want to do is not be able to keep a fish. I would agree with that. It. And it is a two fish limit. Correct. If most of the time we don't keep any fish. No, 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 just a few eaters. I mean, you just saw the great big ones are definitely going back, but there is a, the fishery for that size fish. There's an unbelievable amount of them in here. Why it's is fun. that? What has happened really with this lake trout fishery on the whole Great Lakes? It seems like it's really just it's been on fire. It's you know? unreal. I mean, charter fishing, we're at 95% you can get your limit of fish and six people. In Holy cats. So you're but, saying that 95% of the charters that you go, that you take out, you're getting your limits? For sure. If we're just going for lake trout, yeah, for sure. That's incredible. Yeah. Last night, I went to bed at about probably <laughs> seven o'clock. And uh, you know what? I went eight days in a row with having just massive amounts of groups of people for our own ice guiding business. And uh, I wake up this morning and I have got like 20 beer cans around me, empty pizza boxes. Um, and I only had one beer, you guys. I'm just gonna, no, I no, I did. I did have just one. I had one, two beers actually. Yep. So two beers. So what was going on when I was sleeping? We were having a little fun, Hunter and I, you know, when you go to bed that early, you're going to get picked on. Right. I mean, even though I had eight days in a row with just pounded to death, we you still pick on a guy like me? So tired after that 20 pounder right. that we you had know to what? Uh, mess with him a little bit. I don't feel bad for him today having the flu either. One bit. <laughs> <laughs> Let's can you go get me one of them good jigs Let's so do I can it. catch a bigger fish? Let's do it. Hey, I'll tell you what, this week's tip of the week brought to you by our good friends up at Mike's Country Meats, the finest jerky on the planet. You know, Tommy, I tried to help you ha have everybody set up everything today. Yep. I could not find the bottom until it, it took me like three or four times to do it, and I finally got it down. But you had an easy way to do this. And when you're fishing in, you know, 150, 200 feet yep. of water here and a lot of current, when you got all that wire down there, it's easy to go past the bottom. Correct, yeah, the wire weighs as much as your lure darn near by the time you get down 150, 200 feet. So a simple trick is you're gonna feel this bait hit bottom. You'll feel it when it thunks up after you get there as well. But if you pass up bottom, you won't be able to find it like what happened yeah, here. That's what was happening. The wire was just getting a big loop in it and Correct. the current was pushing it like I, it yep. felt like it I was- It just keeps going. So I going. just use my thumb. You keep the same tension on it. I'm just letting that, this is a little froze up, but I'm just letting that wire pass off my thumb and when I hit bottom it's not going to pull through that drag you know it's a noticeable weight difference right there I'm just letting that tick past my thumb right there and you'll get the bottom and it won't go oh there you go and hit you'll bottom. Be right there yep and then you can feel that you feel that thunk right there and you feel it oh yeah yep feel that, you just feel it pop off yep. bottom and then you don't want to fish on bottom your bait will get all muddy so we go up a wrap so you can get bottom right about there and we're fishing just a couple feet off today that's a great tip. Hey, Tommy, appreciate the tip of the week this week. And of course, we appreciate our good friends up at Mike's Country Meats. Do I get some of that? You get that. Yep. Hit it hard? Yeah, good. Same thing on the bottom. Coming back up. Does it get any better than this? No. It does if I wasn't fighting the fluid today. <laughs> but we'll make her. Yeah, it's a nice one. Made about four or five runs now. Wow. You know, the problem is with this kind of fishing, Tommy, I'm way down on the other end. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't want to leave my hole. <laughs> I know, it's right? Tough. Take a peek at this one, Larry, when he comes. Ooh, he's going again. How big are we seeing, Tommy? Big. Big. 15. Ooh, a nice fish. 
Grant, this is like the fourth fish you've had on, huh? It's hard uh, to tell. One. When you see them in the water, yeah. it's hard. Wow. They look cute. Look at this thing. Look at this thing. <gasps> double, oh. double tag. Double oh. tag, too. Two tags. Double there. tag. Yeah. Explain what that is. Is that like a also, drop time? <laughs> he's, just, he's just got two tags from the DNR. Okay. Which is cool. That means he's been caught twice. When you have a fish of this size, like what's the age on it? This fish is 40 plus years old. Oh. This is something. Yep. We're just going to take your time. Here he comes, side. Here he comes. Oh. 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 Look that at is, that. That is an absolutely beautiful. Fish. Look at that fish. And that hey. is something. Now, double tagged, as you were saying, double Tommy. Tagged. So that means the DNR tagged this fish. Yeah. Yep, Twice. a couple times. That one's a little older. We'll get down a couple numbers on that yep. one, and we can get some history on it. And let we're let gonna get go. a, a couple nice pictures of this fish. Wow. And she's gonna go back in the water. What this an awesome a, fish, man! And a special place to be. A lot of people do this a long time before you get fish this caliber. Get a picture of Jeff. Yeah. Awesome. Hey Tommy, I'll tell you what, besides some absolutely epic fishing, wow, the scenery around here is incredible. Yeah, not only in the summer and the winter, we can go in, into some smaller caves, you know, and there's no, not been anybody in these caves you've seen when we were outside. I saw some wolf tracks coming in here. A couple wolf tracks, a couple coyotes maybe. You know what, Tommy, if other people want to enjoy the same thing that we all did today, Tell everybody how they can get a hold of you. Yep, you can give us a call at 715-292-4342. You can email us at trollintommy, T-R-O-L-L-I-N, Tommy, at hotmail.com, or hit us up on Facebook. That's absolutely awesome. Hey, you guys, got anything to say? Beyond the care! <laughs> and remember, like I always say, thank you guys for watching our show this week, and it's a great day to be alive. Well, I tell you, it's back to my favorite time of day. Leroy runs. Don't pout. I'm only fishing for a trout. When I get a big one, I'm going to give my buddy Tommy a shout. Hopefully it's the biggest lake trout. What do you got that look on your face, sir? I don't know. It's, an hour. it's supposed to be 7 miles an hour today. I think it's 17 miles an hour. I'll be the middle boy. Minimum. No, 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 it's minimum, man. I have to carry the bait in water. I get to carry Tommy's bait. You know, I'm going to tell you why his hands aren't froze, Mr. Millennial. <laughs> right? His hands aren't froze because, you know what? He's out here every day and he's acclimated to this weather. That's what happens when you don't sit in the office every day and play video games. Somebody else! Oh, my. Get out. Oh, 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 oh. There's a bear coming. <laughs>